It is truly the end of the line for the state's oldest private bus company. DeCamp's commuter bus service announced earlier this month it's struggled to retain ridership since the start of the pandemic. And now, after 153 years of shuttling riders in suburban North Jersey to New York City, it's closing down that part of the business. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan has the story. DeCamp Bus Lines making its final commuter runs between the Jersey suburbs and New York City this week. The historic company says with ridership averaging just 20 percent or less of pre-pandemic levels, it finally had to pull the emergency stop cord. I've certainly seen the ridership drop off due to the work from home hybrid situation. Uh, but again, it's a new era and unfortunately DeCamp, they made for likely business decisions that they have to cut the service. It was a quick way to get into the city. Um, like I said, it's been running since I was a tiny little kid. A lot of people that I know are disappointed. We have the train as well as the bus in town, so we you can use the train, um, but it's not as convenient for me. The bus is closer, so I do prefer the bus. DeCamp's operated for generations, but will cease all commuter operations April 7th, making an emergency pivot. NJ Transit will pick up some of DeCamp's bus routes, the 33, 66, and 44, providing morning and evening rush hour service Monday through Friday only. It made us extremely happy and um, that, I mean, our main goal is to make sure residents have access to New York City. Bloomfield Mayor Michael Venezia says he asked the transit agency to take over DeCamp's bus routes and would offer a town shuttle service if NJ Transit's effort falls short. I know funding is always an issue and uh, there is a little bit of a bus driver shortage right now. But we're going to make sure that um, we reach out to the governor's office and make sure our legislators do what they need to do to keep the money that NJ Transit needs to uh, provide proper service. NJ Transit's not the only agency stepping up. A bus company called Boxcar is also going to start offering rides along a DeCamp route. We've had 1,200 people show interest so far, uh, and we've already had 140 make reservations, and that's a lot. CEO Joe Colangelo tailed the DeCamp buses Tuesday, gauging ridership along the route. Boxcar will pick up on its new Essex Express run from West Caldwell through Bloomfield and Montclair to Lyndhurst. But Boxcar will make fewer stops, and membership costs 30 bucks a month. Tickets run $9 a ride. We are a reservation-based service, so you have to have a ticket for the exact time of that bus. DeCamp will return NJ Transit equipment it used to provide the contracted commuter runs and focus on offering charter services and casino shuttles. It's one of many private bus companies hired by NJ Transit and that raises red flags, says Tri-State Transportation's Renee Reynolds. The approach, I think, to uh, solving this is not playing whack-a-mole. How do we provide sustainable service so that this never happens again, so that this is not the first domino to fall with other companies coming after. Jonathan DeCamp, sixth of his generation to run the family business, told us the private carriers were left without a lifeline during the pandemic and that any new aid would probably come too late at this point to salvage commuter routes. He will have to lay off more than half his 160 workers. NJ Transit and Boxcar will pick up select DeCamp routes starting Monday, April 10th. In Montclair, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.